Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fanziers. In this quick video, we will see the review of uh, latest Lineage 18.1, which is currently running on Android 11 in my Asus Zenfone Lite L1. So, in this video, we will see what are all the pros and cons and whether you should go to uh, go and install this on your device. So, let's get started. So first uh, we'll start with the pros. First pro would I, uh, that I would like to tell is a battery backup. So in my case I am currently using a Geo SIM in 4G and Ulta is working by default. All the calls and uh, voice recording, microphone, loudspeaker, everything working fine. I have checked it by myself. So battery backup wise it is decent uh, when compared to uh, earlier uh, GSIs and uh, custom rooms. I can't exactly confirm my exact SOT but I just played uh, BGMI for half an hour or something. The charge was like uh, 20, uh, 15 to 20 percent it just got reduced. I so battery backup wise it is fine and when we are not using it it's going to deep sleep which is actually good in terms of uh, um, retaining the juice and second important thing that I would like to inform is it is stable so in terms of performance and app management it is actually good in my opinion when compared to other stock or uh, Oreo Pi or else uh, GSIs third thing that I would like to uh, let you know is about the uh, gaming performance I didn't play much of it but I just played uh, battleground mobile India I just played like half an hour so it was smooth in the initial uh, beginning stage but when you uh, face enemy in the stage uh, in that time it will automatically crash or sometimes um, you will feel some glitches uh, here and there it will hang for some three to five seconds so I don't think it is a uh, actually uh, competitively you can play it for any tournament or something but in free time if you want to put some game and you need to want to play it you can definitely go for it so next thing that I would like to inform you about is the audio quality so some people may face uh, may maybe faced have a low audio issue uh, but in terms of uh, this custom room the audio is actually great so I have uh, played some uh, I will play some NCS music now it is not loud but it is decent in my opinion I also have uh, tried my wired headphones which is working fine with this I also have uh, tried the Bluetooth headphone with this both are working fine in terms of audio quality there is no uh, issue to uh, inform you and one more thing that I have to mention is in terms of this uh, lineage OS we have a dedicated call recording you can actually uh, record a call without informing them as it is not a google dialer it's lineage AOSP dialer i believe so you can just uh, uh, directly record it without uh, informing them that is one of the good thing i believe so the next and final pro that i would like to tell is payment apps so i just tried uh, google pay it is working fine it doesn't throw any error like the safety it is not safe and all so that is good to know so still now we have uh, seen the pros of this device uh, sorry pros of this uh, uh, lineage OS. now we will take a look at the cons so in terms of uh, speaking about cons there isn't much but uh, i just uh, i would like to just let you know what are all the problems that i have faced so one thing that is uh, uh, a very old problem it still persists is the uh, single touch issue something like that so whenever you play PUBG game uh, it will automatically uh, sometimes it will ignore the uh, touches more than one so that time when you when you face that issue you have to uh, screen uh, turn off the screen and then you need to turn on the screen it takes some uh, quite amount of seconds like it takes like 5 to 10 seconds to uh, boot the game again so that is one issue which we are having in all the way, all the way um, from last two years so the second thing that i would like to tell is a benchmark so i just tried to uh, run a geekbench so 
when i try to run it in uh, cpu it is not at all working so when it is reaching like uh, 60 to 70 percentage uh, that it is just the app is just automatically restarting which doesn't uh, allow me to sh uh, see the result i have uh, run the gpu test and here are the results The third thing that I would like to tell is it is common for most of the custom ROMs. The defaultly it doesn't come with the camera to API, so you can't use the Google camera. In in this we have a, it is Snap camera. So yeah, if you want to install a Google camera, I will leave the link in the uh, icon which you can uh, see and uh, uh, root it and you can enable the camera to API the fourth thing that I would like to tell is the safety net yes in the car in the pros I have said the GPA and uh, payments apps is working but I have to tell that safety net is in passing so the last test uh, CTA profile match which is failing so I just uh, tried with the HDFC bank app which is not working it is saying like this uh, app doesn't support on router device so that is one thing that you need to um, look into it when installing uh, this custom ROM also uh, when you're talking about the storage it is fully encrypted so when you are switching to another uh, ROM you have to entirely uh, format the data Also, this one doesn't come with any phase unlock. All you have is a pattern, pin and password. And some other things that I would like to uh, mention is this is just raw AOSP. So you need to uh, install the Google uh, G apps. I just installed the Pico version of it. That's what about this video. Leave a like if you actually still using this device Zenfone Lite L1 and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Code Moto.